two perpendicular lines. Find the equation of the line perpendicular to the tangent here, 7x minus 3y plus 5 equal to 0, and passes through the point minus 3 and 11. So number one, we've got the normal tangent line. So this is the tangent equation. And now we need to find the normal equation. So to find the normal, we need to find the gradient of the normal. And that's the gradient of the normal equals minus 1 over m, the gradient of the tangent. We know what the equation of the tangent is. 7x minus 3y plus 5 equal to 0. We need to make that equation look like y equals mx plus c so that we can identify the gradient of the tangent. So we're going to rearrange this equation and make y the subject. So the first thing I've done is I've taken the 3y minus 3y to the other side. So I get 3y equals 7x plus 5. Both sides have been divided by 3, so I get y equals 7 over 3 times x plus 5 over 3. So now m tangent, the gradient of the tangent here, is 7 over 3. I want to use that to find the gradient of the normal, so I'm going to place this one here. Now I've placed the value 7 over 3 here, and that becomes minus 3 over 7 for normal. So this is the gradient of the normal, and then it passes through that point here. So there's an equation we can use here, which is y minus y1 equals m normal into brackets x minus x1. This is my x1, and this is my y1. So y minus 11 equals minus 3 over 7 to bracket x minus minus 3 y minus 11 equals minus 3 over 7 open bracket x plus 3 close bracket followed by opening the bracket up y minus 11 equals minus 3 over 7 x minus 9 over 7 and now I've taken the 11 to the other side so I get y equals minus 3 over 7 x minus 9 over 7 plus 11 over 1 multiply the top and bottom by 7 so I get 77 over 7. Now I get y equals minus 3 over 7x plus 68 because 9 77 minus 9 is 68 68 over 7. So there c is the new equation the normal has intercept of 68 over 7 and the gradient of the normal is minus 3 over 7. So now I can multiply everything by 7 to get rid of the fraction. This is in the form of y equals mx plus c. But if I want to write it in the form of ax plus by plus c equal to 0, I need to multiply everything by 7, take the minus 3x to the other side, and minus, and then 68 plus 68 to the other side, and then I get 3x plus 7y minus 68 equal to 0. And that's how I write this equation in terms of ax plus by plus c equal to 0. Mm -hmm.